Hey guys, how are you doing? I ordered a lot of 100 vintage photos off of eBay and I had them, I bought them and they were under $17 shipped. So I got a lot of really cool vintage photos. And I got this idea from Roxy, Roxy Fur. I'm actually going to um, link her channel below. I talk about her all the time, but I don't think I've ever linked her channel. She's a very creative um, and talented crafter. And so she has some vintage photos that she has scanned into her computer and then she either prints them out at home or has them printed uh, depending on, we, on what medium she's going to use. But I just wanted to show you these and hopefully I can do this without a lot of glare. That's interesting. A table with looks like a flower arrangement on it. Oh. Yeah, this was a really nice lot of photos. Maybe I should turn the overhead light off. Hang on, I'll be right back. I turned it on because it's cloudy. We were getting, we're kind of stuck in this weather pattern. There's a high system that just keeps spinning around and by the in the morning it's clear, by the end of the day it's cloudy. So here's a woman on a cart with her horse. Aren't these cool? So I really love the border. There are a few like this. Um, if you wanted to, you could just use the actual photo or whatever. Some of them are like, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I guess just through a window of a shed or a greenhouse maybe. There's a nice little family portrait or family picture. And then some of them you can tell were just torn out of a um, photo album. Look at this cute little baby. What a cutie pie. Oh, this one is so cool. Look at those clothes. I guess this one didn't tear out so easily. <laughs> Whoops, nice old couple. I'm trying to watch my camera and look at the photos at the same time. Not so easy to do. That's nice, a sailor, a Navy guy. Doesn't that look like Loretta Young? That's what I thought when I saw it. That looks just like Loretta Young, but it's Barrel about 1933. So it isn't Loretta, it's Barrel. Pretty woman. There's a dapper guy. School or church picture. That looks like the 30s. Fox tone. That's cool. So you can print them out and interior of Congressional Library, Washington, DC. So you can um, color them if you want to, once you print them out, you can do some watercolors or just leave them black and white and use them on a project. I've seen her use them on a few. Nice little schoolboy. She looks a little stern. Here's another one. <laughs> I guess tearing it out wasn't very successful. These are about the time. A lot of these, my grandparents and great grandparents. Look at her suit. It's probably the 40s. 
Same here. Log cabin. And I like how some of them are really black and white and gray, and then some have the yellow sepia tone. Couple with their dog. Isn't it sad that nobody wanted their family's photos? He looks happy to be alive. She reminds me of the teacher in the uh, movie, um, what's the Christmas movie with the kids and the guy sticks his tongue on the Christmas story. She kind of reminds me of the teacher. I just love these faded ones. And here's another one with that border on it, Elko. I don't know what that means. She kind of looks like my grandma. Oh, this lady, she's so pretty. Doesn't she look nice? That's definitely the 40s. That would have been my mom's era. My mom graduated from high school in 1943. And the landscape, this would be so cool colored. They look like they're having a good time all dressed up in their Sunday best. On the homestead. Neither of them look very excited to have their picture taken. Oh, look at that tie. Mike was saying, look at that old kitchen. Oh my God, that's like a 1940s, 30s, 40s kitchen. Mike was like, why, why did you buy these? <laughs> he doesn't understand. Oh, she's all sassy in her little pleated skirt. That's cool. That would be beautiful. Colored with watercolors. And then the lily pad pond. Looks like Pac-Man. Oh, I love this one. With the old furniture. This reminds me of when I was a kid. Back in the 50s and 60s. Ooh, look at the bridge. And it still has the little corner protector on it. Not protector, what are these called? Corner mounted things. That looks like the Golden Gate Bridge, but I'm not sure. I've never been there, but it looks like it. And somebody doing some backhoeing. Oh, look at this one. Isn't that fun? Just wonder what the event was, what the story is, who the people are. Oh, there you go. Oh, from Berlin. Circa 1954, the year I was born. Very cool. And I am part German. Mostly Scandinavian, according to my DNA. That's cool. Three ladies all dressed up. This reminds me of my great grandparents who came over from Sweden. I mean, they don't really look like them, but just the whole style. And here's this woman. Ooh, is that Christmas? Looks like it might be Christmas. I love that corner built-in uh, corner unit. Look at the rhubarb. Ooh, I used to make really good rhubarb cherry crisp because my husband is not a big strawberry fan. So, oh, somebody's graduated. Congratulations. Oh, look at this one. She's so sweet, that little girl. And look at her mom's shoes and her neck scarf. 
her neckerchief. Does anyone remember that term? Too handsome young man, looking uh, all snazzy. When I saw this picture, it reminded me of my dad. Uh, my dad was a mechanical engineer and loved working with all sorts of machinery and oh, I'm move that a little bit. No, this looks like my family. Well, kinda. But it looks like a this was like our couch when I was growing up. Did any of you guys have a couch that was textured like this? I ours was green and I can remember what it smelled like and what that felt like. Memories. Oh, somebody's christen or uh, baptism or uh, first communion. Oh, look at how cool that is. And Roxy has at least a couple of videos up of projects that she's done with vintage photos. Sloan Lumber Company. And this one, I just love the way this one faded. It's darker over here. So cool. Oh, there's a happy couple. Wow, look at his eyes. His eyes are almost creepy looking. Oh, look at this cute guy. Is that a Boy Scout or is that just his clothing? I love the background. And this guy, he is really cool too. You know he's he's just gonna go far. He's just gonna go get it and go far. Oh, cute little baby in the striped pillows. Oh my God. Those are all back in style again. This reminds me of my husband's uh, Sicilian family. His dad and um, her his uh, sister. That reminds me of them. Look at his little suit. His pants are cuffed. This guy looks all serious. Looks like maybe he's a farm boy. I don't know. Looking at these pictures just makes me want to create a story for the people. Three pretty ladies. Blurry couple on a bike. And what is this? That looks familiar. Does it say? I don't know what it is. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. And then the cars. Oh, look at this guy. He is set. He is set to move on. Oh, look at these beautiful children. Wow. They look German or Scandinavian, perhaps. <laughs> look at all the kids. Is that a menorah or just a candle holder? I'm not that familiar with menorahs. Aww. A mom and her baby, Nora and Billy Huber, I think it says. Just imagine sunflowers being back there. Look at this handsome fellow. 1919, oh my God, that's the year my dad was born. She looks so serious. I wonder if she was a good student. I bet she went on to become a doctor. And look at this with the, oh man, that's just beautiful. You know, you could have it copied and crop it here and watercolor it. Oh, oh my, <laughs> this was a daily photographer. West Virginia. Look at that. The desert. 
wonder if that's Arizona. I think it looks like the desert. Or it could be here in Las Vegas. Isn't she pretty with her flowers? I really got a great, I keep pulling this forward. I got a great lot of vintage photos. The little girl, that could be a boy. Who knows? Oh my gosh. Look at her. What a beautiful woman. Look at her dress and her locket and her finger waved hair. You guys, in beauty school, I was so bad at finger waving. <laughs> yeah. This guy looks like he's up to no good. Wonder what's going through his mind. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that was my lot of vintage photos. And um, I'm just really happy with the quality of these and the variety. So check out eBay if you're interested. Check out Amazon. Um, Mike does more Amazon because he has the Prime. I do more eBay because I sell on eBay. But um, yeah. So if anyone knows what this is, I want to say it's out in California, maybe. Like one of the missions. That's what it looks like, but I don't know. It could be Albuquerque. We went to Albuquerque once, and oh my God, that was so cool. I wasn't a big fan of Santa Fe, which surprised me. It was just kind of a weird artist community. So, okay, guys. Well, I will just talk to you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this. And check out Roxy. As I said, she's an amazing artist and uh, creative craft person. And she's the one who uh, runs the Your Paper Pantry website. So, okay, guys. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.